here, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to do the bent over body weight row. Now, the goal here is going to be challenging the retractors of the shoulder blades, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to start with your knees softly bent, which means that from a straightened position, your knees are ever so slightly forward. From here, all I want you to do is hinge at your hip while not dropping your chest, and I want you to come to a comfortable stretch of your hamstring. Everyone's gonna be different here. Some of you may start here, others may even start here, whichever is fine, okay? Whatever you can handle is the goal. But I want you to keep your chin tucked, come to that comfortable position. We're gonna allow our arms to just kinda hang here. And the next position here is going to be driving your shoulders down and back and from here, we're just going to pull in, and I want you to keep your shoulders down. This is very important. My shoulders are very far away from my ears right now, extremely far. I'm literally trying to exaggerate that, pushing my elbows towards my hips as far as I possibly can, while also at this position, retracting my elbows in really tightly, okay? That's going to allow you to light up almost the entire back. Then I'm going to chill out. Retract down and back. Pull and pull in. Relax. Retract down and back. Pull up. Pull in. Relax. Shoulder blades down and back. Pull up. Pull in. Relax, pull up, pull in, relax. Make sure your abs are gently tight, like someone can punch you in your abs, and that's gonna give you more stability throughout your entire body. The more stability that you can ultimately create, the more that your body is ultimately going to move in the proper patterns that you're asking it to move. Keep your, tongue, your, your chin tucked, because there's nothing to see in front of you. Last little step here is going to be your breathing. I want you to, when you're pulling, I want you to inhale. And then when you're releasing, I want you to then to exhale. And in this case, what we're trying to do, not just challenge the back, but also the retractors of the shoulder blades. Now, if you do this properly, again, you're going to feel this throughout the entire back.